So here's some redemption for us only getting a bad picture of a Southern Pacific last night of a DOR. This is its cousin, the Northern Pacific, up here on a road in rural Kern County, heading up to a much higher elevation salamander spot. But down here lower on the mountain, it's about 70 degrees, and there's a nice Northern Pacific rattler sunning on the asphalt. So we're out here looking for yellow blotched ensatinas on a mountain near Bakersfield. And along a creek we turned up this slender salamander. Um, I'm pretty sure this would be a re relictual. And those are super endangered, so we are not going to touch it. We're not going to position it for photos. We're not going to do anything. Um, this is just how it was found, and we're going to put this little piece of bark it was under back um, exactly where it was. And that's really cool. Um, we're looking for yellow blotched and satinas. This is just kind of out of the blue. There's the slender. That's pretty awesome. Wow. Well, hopefully we turn up an ensatna. That's what we're looking for the yellow blotched. Any of you like Luke Combs, the modern country artist? I'll be honest, I'm not a massive fan, but I just gotta say, every time it rains, it pours. Holy mackerel. We're about to go back up the hill and like go to the next spot and I flip a little piece of bark and then here's this nice yellow blotched in satina with the classic Kern County patterning where it's, you know, not super regular like the large blotched in San Diego. It's kind of off-center a little bit, not equal on either side, and it's bright yellowy. Not orange, not hybrid with Sierra Nevada at all, just pure yellow blotched in satina. Awesome stuff. And what pretty habitat to be walking around in in 60 degrees and sunny with a little breeze. What a morning. Here is a big fat gopher. Well, not fat, but big. And I don't know here whether we're in Pacific gopher territory or Great Basin. We're kind of on the backside of a mountain that is sort of on the border between like the, the Great Basin, high desert on the east side of the Sierra, and then just to our west, maybe 15 miles, it would very obviously be a Pacific. Either way, it's a lifer. I've neither, never seen either of those subspecies, but cool to see them, 71 degrees, coming down the same mountain where we saw the salamanders just earlier, and it's like a dozen degrees warmer. Cool stuff. Nice big four footer or so. We're going to move them off and keep rolling. It is time for lunch. We are hungry, or at least I'm hungry. All right, here's that gopher going back off the road, down the embankment, down through the woods to grandma's house he goes. Here's a long nose snake. Apologies for the wind. It is really, really whistling down out of the Sierra Nevada. Cruise this guy up in a nice canyon above some very dry high desert. It's only about 68, but we got this guy cr crossing the road. So we'll see what else we get tonight. You know, I wonder if we're in the right place to see Great Basin rattlesnakes. This is an interesting view to start the morning. Don't know that I've ever looked for salamanders in this kind of uh, terrain, but here we go. Looks like we're in western Colorado, but we're not. We're in California. Don't know if we'll see a rubber boa or not today. But if we don't, it will be a pretty snake to miss. This here, on a road in the Mojave Desert, with no INAT records for him. Is a beautiful specimen, beautiful specimen of a Panamint rattler. 
little two-footer. These are the northerly cousins of the speckled rattlers we saw easier this, earlier this trip in San Diego. Ah, but they have a little more definite pattern as you can see, like those blotches on the back. snakes at all here in the Milwaukee. It's about 78, 79 maybe. Windy. Windy, windy out of the Sierras. Here's yet another truckwalla. This one's a juvenile. Let me get a lot closer to him. I thought for a minute this was going to be a long-nosed leopard lizard. But it's just truckwalla number eight of the day. Here's another truckwalla. unfortunate, very fresh DOR Great Basin Gopher that's technically still alive. Last car coming up must have just hit it, but oh man, how unfortunate. Uh, rest in peace, little buddy. We'll get him off the road. Here's a northern Pacific rattlesnake, bigger one than earlier than this trip slithering into the sagebrush off the side of this mountain road. There he goes. <laughs> 